Jeff Peterson from Heartland Farm Partners is our corn and soybean market analyst this week. Brazilian farmers have begun what's expected to be a record soybean harvest. The country's CONAP, a public company under Brazil's Ministry of Agriculture, said Thursday it believes growers there will produce 100.9 million metric tons of beans, or about 3.7 billion bushels. The final tally for the 2015 soybean harvest in the U.S. was a little more than 3.9 billion bushels. CONAB's estimate would be a new high and about 5% more than Brazilian farmers brought in last year. It's also larger than the USDA's current projection for Brazil of 100 million metric tons. We talked with Jeff Friday morning about output there and in Argentina, but we began by looking at corn and soybean market movement over the last few days. You know, it's, it's been an interesting week, Jeff. We started off the week higher. We ended up closing the week here lower, overall lower on corn and beans for the week, but it's actually been a pretty narrow trade. Kind of range bound in here has been the story for quite some time. One of the notable things that happened this week was the dollar, the U.S. dollar. The strength of it moved a little bit. Where did it go? You know what? Uh, for uh, one time in here, we actually go lower. Uh, you know, we're down 3% <laughs> since last Friday. And you would have thought that would have helped the markets and give us a little bit of a tailwind, but it sure didn't do a whole lot for us, as much as we had expected. So one of the reasons that's important is because of the, uh, the way that it affects U.S. exports. And also as we look at U.S. exports, we go down to Brazil where they're starting their soybean harvest. What's your feeling about how big that crop is? You know what, uh, definitely the South American harvest is getting underway, especially in the northern parts of Brazil. Early estimates sound good. Now, we did have some information this week uh, out of both Conab and Informa that actually went ahead and uh, increased um, the corn production. However, we ended up seeing a decrease actually come on the soybean side. So, you know, the weather they had early has caused them a few problems. Market movers? Um, no, they were not. It was about expected. You know, those numbers are still above USDA's numbers. So we'll have to continue to monitor. It's a typical type case where we're going to have to get the combines in the field to get a better feel of what those yields look like in Brazil. What point of the growing season are Argentine farmers in? You know, Argentina, that's kind of been the core of really what's been driving the market over the last few weeks. They were too hot, too dry. Um, they ended up having uh, that impact about 20% of the crop. And one of the areas that we end up seeing is that Corn pollination, it's either just pollinated or will pollinate over the next one to two weeks. Soybeans are in the reproductive stage, so late bloom, early pod fill. So weather looks good though, um, which is a change from what we had before. So everybody's getting more optimistic that maybe their yields come up down the road, but we'll have to see. With the output in both Brazil and Argentina, how do you expect that will impact overall world stocks? You know what, it's going to give us a rise in world stocks on both the corn and the soybean side. We really, if you look at it in the big picture, Jeff, we just have too much production right now. Now we'll need all this production as we go down the road, but we've just got too much right now. What it's going to do is it's going to impact our, our exports. Um, you were already seeing this, you know, the numbers we ended up seeing this week on the exports was kind of the earliest we've seen some net cancellations in the recent history in here, and that's mainly because they think they're going to have a pretty good sized crop down there. The buyers are sitting back and impatient. They're being patient. They've increased their port capacities, so we'll soon have a steady flow of, of soybeans coming out of South America. Those world stocks, are they higher than normally they would be at this point in time or at the end of the harvest that they would be? Yeah, we're expecting it's higher. As a matter of fact, you know, on both the corn and the bean side, from just the stock perspective, it is some of the highest numbers we've seen. On the beans, it is the highest numbers we've seen. How much more weakness does this put into U.S. exports now that South America has begun its harvest? Yeah, definitely. It puts some pressure. Um, going forward, I still think on the corn side, we can still see some exports come. It was a good week of exports this last week, but on the beans, it's going to get to a point where bean exports are going to come down to a trickle, unless they have some port problems down there. We know they'll have some strikes, but uh, it's going to really dramatically slow our soybean exports. You put on the snowshoes this week and went to the Iowa Power Farming Show in Des Moines. What was the feeling from farmers there? You know, it's interesting. Um, as we talk to guys, one of the biggest concerns is profitability. And that's what we hear all over with the farm shows. Everybody's concerned, you know, are we going to get a bounce? They hope prices bounce down the road. So the profitability is a concern. Also, what are they going to do on corn and bean acres? Um, there's some discussion about that, trying to decide which way they're going to go. Initial response is they want to go more beans until they do kind of the break-evens and they kind of switch back over to the corn side and say, you know, I think I might stay with about what I had on the corn side. Where's Heartland Farm Partners at right now with their uh, strategy? You know, right now what we're looking at, this bounce we've had in here, and it's hard to believe, Jeff, this has been a uh, bounce of about 25 cents in corn, about 35 cents in beans. It doesn't seem like it, but what we really want to do here is we do want to make some sales here. We'd like to be at about 70% sold on the old crop. 
and in this 368 to 373 type area and then beans right in the area we're at right now. And then as we look out to new crop, uh, we want to hold off yet. Uh, we probably aren't that interested in making any additional sales in new crop until we get to the four and a quarter area on the corn side and really the 950 area on soybeans. To clarify that old crop uh, sales strategy that you have there, those, that's for bushels that you have in the bin, but you're also willing to store some further into summer? It really is. It's overall, it's the amount of production. We'd like to be at 70% of the overall production. So if you've got some bushels that need to move here, you know, by March, I'd, I'd move them on here. If you can hold on for a while in that last 30% of your production, then I'd go ahead and hold. I think we'll see some weather problems farther down the road. <music>